the ponds are why I put that there. I feel like I would have so many more serious talks with people. Walking around by the ponds, like, let's talk business. Today, we will be ranking our top five most over the top houses. So Michaela, what is your number five? My number five is actually ranker's number one, the Versailles house. Mm. So this is supposed to be the biggest house in the United States. It took 17 years to make, which is why I like it so much actually. Did it's, like one guy do it? I don't know, that's why I'm like, just the dedication at that point, yeah. it's like, I give up after a certain amount of years. Because it's 17 years in the making, they also have a 30 car garage in this house. Ooh. Which is interesting to me because I'm like, did you just kind of give up on part of the plans? Yeah. Because that's just big empty space, no? I'm sure if they built the biggest house in the country, they have a ton of cars. If anything, that seems yes. like not enough space for their cars. I don't know, I just thought it was, uh, just the story of that felt a little extravagant to me. I actually know of this house from, because there's a, uh, there's a documentary that came out in 2008 during the recession. Two tennis courts. 30 bathrooms. Full-size baseball field. 10 kitchens. Antique furniture. 90,000 square feet. It's basically just talking about how like, okay, everybody's losing their houses and these two like, very kind of like they're not, but they, they're they're a little much. Are like they're literally building the biggest house in the country while everybody else is like going broke, and it's like the like yeah. this is America. This is the story alone. It's like that's that's ridiculous. I've only been able to really see this image that Ranker.com mm -hmm. had, um, and I had to dock at some points because the front yard just looks a little silly to me. It does. I feel like, like they could have done a little bit better. I guess I wouldn't complain to live there. No. But I'd be like, can we fix the grass situation out front? What's your number five? So my number five was Ranker's number two, mm. the Hearst Castle. This was built by William Randolph Hearst, uh, the publishing magnet. The reasons why I really like this one are one, at one point had the largest zoo in the United States on the property. So that's really fun. I'm sure you're wondering like, how big was this house to have the world's largest zoo? So this house was built on 250,000 acres. That's insane. That's the size of Hong Kong. Is that really? Yeah. Now Hong Kong is smaller than you think. <laughs> I bet. But it's Hong Kong. I'm that, not good with numbers, otherwise I guess I think I would put that on my No one's list. good with acres too. Like yeah. what is, well, what an, is acre? an acre? One acre is smaller than you think. 250,000, holy it's crazy. Just... Yeah, so that's my number five. What's your number four? My number four was Ranker's number four, the Kaikuit Mansion. Honestly, just Actually, really quick, okay. I'm gonna stop you right there because my number four is also the Kaikuit Mansion. I think it's like the third list in a row where we've had the same number four. Honestly, I was just sold six swimming pools in. And it also, it just looks really cool. I like their, like the, the shrubbery on, mm -hmm. the, on the actual building. I think that's fun. A lot of these houses on this list, I, I'll be honest with you, kind of creepy. Yes. And this one's not, not creepy, yeah. but of all the houses, it's like, it's nice. It's, See, it, it looks a little delightful. There's six swimming pools. It's a six, four house. Is there a pool each four? I would assume. I honestly put this before the pools. My, my, the reason why I put this number four is just the six floors. That's like a Holiday Inn. Oh, like this a, little hotel. In like a medium sized town. That's your house. That's your house. Yeah. I think it's great. What's your number three? So my number three is Ranker's number three. Mm -hmm. The Vanderbilt Summer Cottage. Mm, the Vanderbilt. You know, just the, the summer cottage. I was just in from the, the headline alone. This is some rich people stuff. The breaker rooms were sent from Europe. They were broken down in Europe and then sent over to the United States to be rebuilt. And that's just rich people stuff where it's like, instead of rebuilding a new thing, they're like, break it down, package it up, send it over, rebuild it here. It sounds incredibly excessive, but when you, we already talked about all of these houses took like 27 years to build. Yeah. I get them being like, how much more expensive is, is it to ship it and when will it be built? And it's like, if this saves you 20 years and you're a Vanderbilt, I get it. Also kind of cool to be like, oh yeah, this uh, this room has been to other places. Yeah. What like, room has what? been to another place? Those rooms. Did they not sell their old home? Are they not getting money from this old, do they not need the money? They're the they're Vanderbilts. So this the Vanderbilts. They always say like, oh, he married a Vanderbilt. That's what they say in Legally Blonde. Oh, yeah. He says like, if I'm gonna be a senator by the time I'm 30, I need to marry somebody serious. My brother's in the top three at Yale Law <laughs> and he just got engaged to a Vanderbilt for Christ's sake. <laughs> Okay, so my number three is Ranker's number 12. It is the Gray Towers Castle. Well, funny enough, that's the next one on my list. Mine number two. That's your number two? Yes. Was a big selling point to you the 50 gargoyles on the property? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. That was probably my favorite accessory to this building, yes. At first, I was gonna keep it off the list because I thought, I don't want any gargoyles. If there was one gargoyle, I'm out. Two, see ya, three, 
I'm starting to think, like, actually, this is kind of cool. Having 50, I'm not scared of them anymore. I also like, it just kind of reminds me of like a Harry Potter castle. Yeah. And by the way, of all the things where it's like, oh yeah, it's kind of got like a 1700s French castle type thing. This is a castle. Yeah, this one's, this is what I like assume castles look like in yes. my head. Okay, so my number two, Ranker's number 16, Monticello. Yes, that's right. The home of Thomas Jefferson, the what number president? Third. That house, you recognize that house from anywhere? It's on the fing nickels. That house is on the nickels. That is on the nickels. Yes. Yeah. Monticello. My other reason why this is my number two is a lot of stuff that like wasn't really in houses, like very futuristic stuff, like foldable doors and dumbwaiters and stuff were in the house. I would love to have a house where it's like, this is not coming out for 25 years. But the one thing that they did have that is still cool now is they had disappearing beds, which is like, that's so baller. That's like the original futon. My number one is Rikers number five, the Ohiga Castle. Well, let me stop it right there because that is my number one. That's what we do. That's what we do. And I'm pretty sure we have the same reasoning. Well, what's your reasoning? It's just because it's the inspo for Great Gatsby. That's cool as hell. Actually, that's not my reasoning. So yeah, this house they think was the inspiration for the Great Gatsby, which- Seems like it. It sure damn looks like it. But I also feel like that's something that the realtor said to potential buyers. <laughs> that, I mean, it's like, I would tell somebody that if my house like kind of looked like that. I guess that makes sense. But yeah. it, it, either way, I love the like the ponds and the fountains in the front yard. Mm -hmm. That's like a dream. Well, yeah, that's why I did it. One, this is by far the most beautiful picture of all the, the houses that they've shown. I Easily. I think the house looks beautiful. I think that whole thing looks beautiful. The ponds are why I put that there. I would love in the future to have a situation like this. I feel like I would have so many more serious talks with people. Walking around by the ponds, like, Let's, can, we, can we talk? Can we just go for a walk? Let's talk business. You can't walk around the pond and not think about, not be making big plans about mm -hmm. the future. Yeah. Like you're always thinking about, you never think about the past. It's like, God, that's that's the dream. That also just looks like a sturdy house. Yes. Right? Well built. That's like a nice sturdy home. Like nine chimneys on that bad boy. Yeah. Yeah, which means there's fireplaces. Which is. We love a good fireplace. We love a good, this could toast your fire moment. Yeah. Good list. Good list. Okay guys, so there you have it. Those were our favorite over the top houses. Did we miss any of your favorites? Let us know in the comments and head over and over to that list and vote yourself. Get your favorites in the top, add more to the list. And of course, also let us know in the comments which one of us you think are the best list or who's on top. See ya.